Hey, welcome back, everyone. Sitting beside me right here is Chris Gibson. He put together this book right here, and it's called Acne Free in Three Days. And what makes this book so great is it's going to help a lot of people out there. We've all suffered from blemishes before, and there's really a story behind why you put this book together. Yeah, I, I started having skin problems when I was very young, about 11 years old. Went to the dermatologist routinely. I tried everything, antibiotics, Accutane, all the things that are typical, and things weren't working for me. So... I sort of like kind of believe the myths that I would like grow out of it. Mm -hmm. That didn't happen. So it was really getting to be very frustrating for me, especially after I took Accutane, which is a really powerful drug to clear it up. Right. Didn't go away. So it sort of forced me out of the box to look for alternatives to see what was really creating my problem. And that's where the book really comes from is my story. And then I shared it with friends and family over the years. And they said, you should really write something on this. And uh, I had written business books up until then, oh, really? and so yeah, so I put together a little booklet. We we put it out on the internet actually yeah. about four years ago, and it just went nuts. Everybody was looking for these type of answers, a natural way to work with their skin, and so they wrote in, asked questions. We put a lot of science in there, dermatology in there. So it's really this big book now on skin care yeah. um, that's all natural based. Right and there's a lot of misinformation when it comes to acne as well. You know, when I hear about acne, I often think of, I think I have a blemish that shows up or I have a problem. I have it, I think about sleep deprivation, I think about stress, I think about eating and my dietary habits. Some of that's misinformation. Some of it, there's a lot of myths. One of the first myths is that oil and hormones cause acne. Oil is natural for your skin, it needs to be there. Acne is actually caused by a bacteria that's on everyone's skin. People that have acne breakouts are just super sensitive to it. It's the immune system's way of saying there's a problem. So th that's really not what creates acne. I mean, it can contribute. Obviously, hormonal cycles create more oil, and that can contribute. But you don't want to dry out your skin, and that's what everybody runs to do. They buy mm -hmm. everything that has a label for acne, salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide. All those are very drying, and they leave a layer of skin on your, on your face that's dead. It's a very microscopic layer, blocks more pores. So that's why a lot of people don't have a lot of luck with products that are over the counter. Tell me about some of the natural remedies that you have here. Okay, um, one of the things that I learned was to get away from chemically based products. So you'll see I have brought some oils here. I have olive oil, which is what I use today. I've mm -hmm. been using it for years. A lot of celebrities, celebrities now use olive oil. I eat a lot of them. And it's good inside and out, actually. <laughs> um, for people who have really bad blemishes and they're trying to get that cleared up, I recommend the, the castor oil. Mm -hmm. What happens is when you cleanse your face and you put these oils on, your skin doesn't need to produce human oil as much, which is the opposite problem when you dry it out. The bacteria that creates acne doesn't like these oils. It likes human oil. So by cutting down on oil production, you actually cut down on the amount of bacteria on your face. And honey. Honey, actually, is part of this uh, facial that I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Uh, okay, let's get, go for it. Okay. I get asked a lot about what can I use as a mask. You know, you see a lot of masks. They're really drying people with acne skin, sensitive skin, and those are too drying. Mm -hmm. So I put together an avocado facial, which has been around for a while, but I sort of upgraded it and added oatmeal. Mm -hmm. uh, oatmeal is very soothing to the skin. It balances the pH on the skin, which helps cut down on blemishes. Uh, I also add honey because the avocado and oatmeal won't stick without something and honey is a very natural uh, has a lot of natural enzymes mm -hmm. it makes it sticky and, and it also soothes and smooths the skin after you do this facial usually the results last three or four days people are amazed that their skin feels that way for that long it really does that kind of drawing out and clearing of the skin it makes a um, lot of sense as well because when I look at the components here oatmeal good for the body when you consume it Avocado as well is supposed to be very good as well, and of course honey. Yeah, it's interesting. A lot of the things, uh, the parallel is a lot of things that I talk about are good inside and out. <laughs> you yeah. know? So it's sort of like oatmeal is good for the inside and, and it's also good for the skin. So a lot of products today are, are oatmeal based that are out there. For a lot of teens out there that are struggling through this right now, uh, any advice to them in terms of uh, how they can treat it, number one, where they can go to treat it, of course they can get the book, and uh, is patience a good thing as well? Uh, well, you know, one of the myths is that you'll outgrow it. Not everybody does, and in fact, adult acne is on the increase today. So the things you have to do is really kind of take control of your own health, which is sort of what I'm about, and you have to look at what triggers you have. Some people, it's carbonated drinks. There is a dietary role that plays, you know, hydro hydrogenated oils. There's a lot of antibiotics added to foods today, pesticides, things like that can create problems for people can be sensitive. They think they just have regular acne, but it's being triggered by that. Um, you know, we hear a lot about probiotics. You'll see acidophilus mm -hmm. over there. Back when I learned all this, there wasn't 
the products on the market that had the probiotics in them. I usually recommend that to everybody and then teach you all from treating breakouts. Trying to steam your face using sulfate soap, non-sulfate soaps and, and exfoliation are huge for teens. Well, thank you very much, Chris Skipson. Right. The book, once again, is acne free in three days, available at most uh, bookstores. Uh, we are going to take a break from the lobby right now and head it back over to Francis for a little update in the news world.